Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStampIt.blogspot.com and my husband's working late tonight so when the mice are away the cats will play and I'm going to play making some cards. So here is the one that I'm going to use. This is um, the wild card cartridge, page number 34. What I want to do is make this square card and I'm going to do it blackout because I want to make this color here, this blue right here, this is going to be the background. So I've got it set to blackout and number three, which would be the square. And let me clear it actually because I don't think that it did. There we go. So blackout and number three. And we'll go ahead and hit cut and get that cutting right now. And then our next step that we're going to do here, let me show you here. Our next step that we're going to do is actually on the bloom, one over here. Let me keep flipping it here. Find it. Of course, I had it all tagged, but you know how that goes, right? And on the bloom one, what I found that I think would work perfect for this, so first let's just unload this because I need this to go to the top. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and load it back up again because I need it to be right here at the top. Alrighty, so we're set where we need to go there. Now I'm just flipping through this. and Okay, so here's our bloom, and this is going to be on page 56. And what I need here is some of these green little flowers, which I think are adorable. So that's the liner on the bloom card. So let's find that over here. So we, I know we need to hit liner. And let's find the bloom card here. Let's see, it shouldn't be too hard to find because it's a big floral. You know, if I did one of those overlays that they have on the Cricut board, that would probably be very beneficial to me. And then I could do, do this really quickly. But I also saw a gal, too. Oh, here's the bloom. I also saw a gal, too, that wrote, like, um, row one, fourth one over, or something like that. And that also looked really helpful. That was something that, and she wrote it right here, like, row one, third one in. And um, I just think that would be a really good way to do it quickly. And there was also another, I'm going to go ahead and hit cut while I'm doing this. There was also another gal online, too, that... Um, she put how big the envelopes can be cut. So a trick to this is always cut your envelope first so that you know. But there is someone that's online on the Cricut board that took the time to print out each or measure out each and every one of the cards. And I just think that that's wonderful that she did that because that just saves us a lot of time, the cards and the envelopes, knowing what size to what we can do. So what I'm going to do now is I need to make this stem here. I've got these really cute cupcake stamps, and so I need to make a, st a stem to put it on. So we're going to use this right here. So now what I need to find is the branch. So let me, um, once that's done, I will uh, set it up so that we can go see what uh, the rest of the card will look like when it's all put together. And it's going to be so, so cute. I can't wait to show you guys. So um, next time you see us, we'll be putting this card together is the five inch squared card that we cut out and let's go ahead and just bone fold this so that the edges are nice and flat. This paper a little bit tough to work with sometimes. This is the one that's got the white core so sometimes not the best but just take a little bit of um, or just flip it around too. Whatever works with you. Uh, but if you take a little bit of the same color if you have a stamp pad that's the same color that could fix that up pretty quickly. So what we're going to do is take the ATG gun and adhere the black to the back of this. And adhere this and this. Oh, I'm having te technical difficulties. But we'll make it work. Alright. So let's adhere that to the back of this. And I kind of wanted my card to open up this way. I thought it would be really cute. So we're going to do it like that. And now I'm going to do... This blue, it's the same color blue. I just thought it would be great to add it to the top of this. Because I really like the blue, but I like the pop that the black did. It just made it stood out a little bit more, and I kind of like that. So we'll put that there. Now, 
You guys are going to love this. Oh, at least I hope you're going to love this. So these are the little flowers that we cut out, right? And these are great because if you ever don't have a flower to add to something, know that you can print them out from here. And instead of using the Prima flowers, you could use these. And you just attach them with the brad or just glue them down. Or you can stamp on them. I have a, a tip video that you can watch on that. And you can stamp them. You can add glitter to them. So really versatile on that. I love that they added those onto there. So this is what I did with mine. I took the flower added a little flower brad into it and the flower brads I got on clearance at Michael's here it's a safari brad kit and I show this in another video but anyway so that's what I used and thought it was super cute and I am actually using this as a little sunshine so instead of a flower this is my sunshine that I'm going to be using here now what I've done is stamp out these cute little cupcakes and color them in. I went ahead and did that ahead of time. I have to tell you I ordered this on the internet and this is a clear stamp set from Studio G and I was really disappointed. I had no idea they were going to be so small so when I got them I thought oh, they're so tiny. What am I going to do with these tiny little things? But I'll tell you what, I have found the perfect thing to do with them and they're adorable and I love that I have these stamps now. So let me show you what I did. So I stamped them all out and let's go ahead and cut this right here. So we'll trim this out really quickly. You guys can see this. And I went ahead and did the others just so you guys wouldn't have to see the whole process here. So this is a leaf that we also cut out. But can you see where I'm going with this? We put this on top of here. And how cute is that? Little cupcakes that stand up like this. And just look simply adorable. So I did three of those. And then I also did a really cute thing here. I stamped the word unique. This is the word unique. And I got it from this stamp set here. And it came from Sweet Dreams, and it came with all these different sayings here, and I like this. I thought it was really a cute set. It comes from Inkadoo, and so anyway, here's the wrapper for this, but that's where it came in. All these cute little sayings. I just like them. They kind of look little, um, I don't know if Victorian is the word, but I just thought they were cute. So what I'm going to do is take my black stamp pad here. And we're just going to make these edges pop a little. So I'm going to take the black and make the color stand out around here. So what I've done is I've torn, I stamped it and then I tore the pages. Or tore the paper, I should say, instead of pages. And so I had it stamped onto here. Oops, sorry about that. So I had it stamped onto here and then I just kept tearing it. And you tear it toward you when you're doing it. To, to give it a really nice edge look. This happens to be the, the color core paper, which is so cool if you crinkle this and sand it. So I have another video that shows you that technique, so you might want to take a peek at that too. So anyway, there's that. And that happens to be my finished card. I'll have to take that down later. But for right now, you guys can see the effect of that. And I hope you like it. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm having way too much fun with this.